Hello and welcome to the tutorial teaching you how to use the new Peabody Public Schools mobile app that is based on our website. The screen we're looking at now is an Android phone. If you have an Apple iPhone, there is a different instructional video for you to watch. Let's get started. First thing you want to do is locate the Play Store on your phone. This is the place you download any new apps for your phone. When I go to the Play Store, I'm looking for an app called Peabody. And you can see that Peabody Public Schools automatically pops to the top of the list. If I click on that, it shows me that there is an app called Peabody Public Schools Blackboard K-12 and that it's free. So that's the one we want. And you'll want to install it. And once it's installed, you want to open it. Choose from list is the best option here. You may list the schools that you are interested in being affiliated with. You're done, finish. And you now have the Peabody Public Schools app on your Android device and the app will look like this on your phone. Once the app comes up you'll notice the front screen is a series of pictures. These are tweets that are put out by our assistant superintendent and superintendent. This is one of the ways you can use our app to get information from our district about what's coming up. You'll notice there are two major screens that you may slide between. On your main screen, in the top right hand corner, you'll see an abacus. If you click on the abac abacus, it will bring you to a settings menu. This setting is important if you want to follow certain schools. Following schools mean you are able to see these schools on your app and they are saved according to your preferences. At the top of the screen, you'll want to click Follow Schools, and then you'll want to select the school that you would like to see in our app. You'll notice there are separate pages for each of the elementary schools, the middle school, and the high school. Choose the schools you are interested in following. To go back to the main screen, click on the top Follow Schools, which will bring you back to the Settings page. Click on the word Settings at the top and you will go back to the main screen. You'll notice on the main screen there are three buttons at the bottom, About Us, Menus, and News. If you click on the About Us section, it will pull up the schools you have selected or the Peabody by default, the Peabody District page where you can find information about the district. To find your specific school, click on the abacus and click on the school you're interested in. For instance, I will say the Brown School. When I click on that link, the Brown School link loads. You'll notice that on each of the pages for each of the schools, you have boxes with images. The images directly tie to the district's website. So the information you'll find on the website, you'll find on this app. Let's go back to the main page, so I click on Brown Elementary at the top. If I slide my screen over to the second page, I have a choice of directory. 
The directory will give me connections to the email of every teacher, staff member, and faculty in the district. To find a specific school, click on directory, and then I might click on Higgins Middle. If I'm looking for a teacher at Higgins, I scroll down to the bottom and click on the word teachers. And a list of all the teachers at that school comes up. Upon selecting any teacher on the screen, you can pull up an individual bio for that teacher with their email directory information. So again, your back button is always on the top of your screen. So to return to the main screen, click account info, teachers, school info, directory, and now you are back on the second screen of the main page. Sports is a link here on the right. Make a payment will offer different choices so you can make payments in the district. The tip line at the bottom allows you to get information to the superintendent, to the district. We have our school library link on the left for searching our whole catalog across the district. And you can also send notifications. As you notice, there are no notifications now, but if I want to make notification choices, I click on the abacus and I can set up my notifications. That means any schools that deliver a notice will come to this notification bar. If I slide back to the first screen and click About Us, I can then get back to any school, including the district, where you can find links to various departments, programs, etc. of the Peabody Public Schools. We hope that this makes it a little easier for, to use our, for you to use our app, and we hope that you're going to enjoy it. Please let us know if you have any questions or suggestions to make our app as good as it can be. Thank you.